Yes, Neil Linux back today. Yes, Bodhi Linux 2.2. Oh, yes, the latest upgrade update from Bodhi, the boys of Bodhi. As you know, it's Ubuntu based, but, yes, but it uses E17 Enlightenment for its desktop experience stroke stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? As you can see, got a nice one going down here. Got my desktops over here. Down there, 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 there. I mean, in theory, you could have a different word for every bleeding thing you wanted to, couldn't you? Not? Let's go through them all for you, so you can see them all. Okay, but this is because I've downloaded quite a lot of stuff, <clears throat> and I'll show you all that when we come to it. Now, when you download Bodhi, it's only 550, around about that, megabytes to download, and you think, not too bad. Well, you don't actually get a lot with it. Now, what I've done, I've downloaded some extra packs with it, and that's what I'm going to show you first. So, we're going to go to Midori, which is the standard browser that comes with it, although I have added Firefox, okay? It should be hunkily on the Dory. Yes, installing software. There you go. Tells you all about it here. You can use the usual, which is, which is uh, the App Center, which is online, which is here. Or you can use the usual command line or Synaptic. It's entirely up to you. You know, some of you might prefer Synaptic, some of you like the terminal, and some of you want a nice little GUI that is web based. Now, I'm going to go to my menu. So, if I left click my desktop, and if I remember where it is, there we go. If I go to add software, it will take us to the place where we can add software from the web. Now, it's basically still using Synaptic at the end of the day, but there is some other bits and bobs here that you may like. Also, if you've got an older version of Bodhi, there are some service packs, okay? Now, what I've done here, I've downloaded this one called Pratiba. Pratiba is an application of suites that are light on resources. Now, I downloaded this. For some more reason, it's light on resources, doesn't take them to download. 175 megabytes of download time. And as you can see, you get all this with it. And I'll go through that with you in the menus in a bit, really. It downloads VLC with it, which is not really a music player, so I have actually downloaded some other stuff. Now, if I go back one page, back one page, back one page, I've also downloaded all the Bodhi Enlightenment themes. Because now I like a bit of Enlightenment, don't you? Yeah, because we have a new other Enlightenment distro coming along soon, too. I'll tell you about that another time. These are all the themes that they've got that are for Bodhi, and I've downloaded these, so you've got lots of stuff to do, for, do with. You can also go to the Enlightenment page itself and download them from there, but there's a different way of installing them. Now, all these Enlightenment themes come in at 95.8 megabytes, so that's not too bad either. Okay. There are also here, like, you can have the audio pack, the image pack, the scientific pack, the web development kit. Oh, I've got the icons as well, right? And you get all the browsers and plugins and all that here, which I did, but I've got some mine from Synaptic and stuff like that, really, and whatever. And some desktop stuff. I went to Desktop Fun. And I downloaded Rain, and I've just haven't, I obviously haven't installed it correctly. I must have done something wrong because I can't get to it at the moment. At the moment, all the plugins are here, and there's some extras here as well. Okay, so lots of extras. Okay, that's enough of that. That's where you basically get it all from. If I go to home, it should just take us to where we are. There you go. There you go. Anyway, that's that bit out of the way. Now I'm going to show you through the bits that come with it, basically, and what I've installed. Okay. Bear in mind it's based on Ubuntu, so everything should run hunky dory, nice and smooth. Installation takes about eight minutes. This is a full install on a hardware install. If I close that first, you'll see what I mean. Here's my file system. It's a 250 gig disk, blimey, super duper. I'm not used hardly any of it. Lovely, nice. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, I remember. So we go down to here to main. And it's, you left click your mouse, of course. Applications. You get accessories, of course, the usual. There's some extra bits and bobs that come in. I've got LX Terminal and XF Burn under preferences. This is the same as what you would get on a base install, but this just comes with it anyway. You get login configuration, network connection, and Synaptic Package Manager. Synaptic, they call it S. Genie for programming and stuff like that. <clears throat> Qualculate, it's just a calculator. Yeah, end of the day, it's just a calculator. An advanced one. And the graphics. Right, this, most of this comes with the add on that I downloaded, okay? You get Pinter, Inkscape, and ePhoto. Nice. Yeah, nice. But under the internet, most of this comes with the other bits as well. I had a clause now, as you know, come with a little pack I downloaded. I downloaded Firefox on its own. Midori is a standard web browser. So if I open up Midori, you can see what happens if you open up Midori. Yeah. And this is the basic quick start page. Now, if you want to know anything about Enlightenment E17, come and look here first because it is really, really configurable, okay? If you go here, it can tell you all about it, how to do your panels, put all the extra gadgets in. There's millions and millions of them, and you can download more from Enlightenment site, basically, if you don't mind doing stuff like that. And do your key binders, look, it tells you all what to do. Yeah, all what to do, man. It's twisting the melon, yeah. If we go back, run everything. I'll show you how to do run everything in a minute, okay? That's no big deal. Yeah, so that's gone, okay. Anyway, where was I? I remember now, yes. 
And vacations from here, okay. Internet resources, yeah, we've done that, didn't we? X-Chat comes with a pack as well, but we don't get that standard. You basically get Midori in your network stuff, and that's all you get, okay? Right, sound and video. With the pack come Dead Beef, and VLC, and XF Burn. Now, what I've done, hit this application in the repositories for a Netflix desktop application. So if you want to watch Netflix stuff on your PC that is Linux, you now can do. Now, it goes through Wine, because it doesn't need Silverlight, remember, and Mono, by the way. But it's using the new version of one that doesn't come in your repos. So I'll show you what it looks like. Right? It runs through the Fox, so click there, and you'll see what I mean. It takes a little while to start up for a simple reason. It's wine's booting up, and this machine's willy willy. It's not that old, but it is old. But it's nice to do nice hardware installs and show you what it's all about. Right, here we go. Now, if you're a member, you just sign in, or you can sign up and get a free month to start with. Now, I am no longer a subscriber to Netflix for the simple reason it just hasn't got enough for me for, you know, for me really, for the six quid a month. It's just not enough programming, not enough decent films. All the stuff's really, really old. There's not even any Star Trek on there, man. No, 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 there ain't. Not even the original series. So that was not good for me, was it? Oh, anyway, yeah. But there is, if it's there, it's there, if you want to do Netflix. There's also, a, you can find the Steam installer around somewhere as well. It comes in the repos as well now, yeah, for Steam. Or you can just go to the site and get it. Entirely up to you. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah, okay. Down to Office. Abbey Word and Genomeric come with the, the pack, that probably took a pack that I downloaded. Now, Abbey Word is going to be, let's have a look. It's going to be 292. Okay. I'll open up again. We'll go back down to Office and we'll also open up Genomeric. Take a couple of seconds. And there we go. And there's Genomeric. If I put that up there, you'll see all the programs you've got open come in this bit of the bar here. So if you minimise them, like so. You can still tell they're open, just see what I mean? So I'm in my every word as well. You know they're open because they're here. So that's not easy for you. But this is one of the themes I'm using. You just have to find the right theme for you, okay? Not all themes suit everybody. 292 for Abbey Word. Hopefully it's fixed so far. Maybe not. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Runs really nice and stalls really nice. It's really nice, actually. Oh, yes, what I was going to show you, wasn't I? Run everything. Okay. This is run everything. So you just want to find something really quick, for instance, um, let me think of something. Uh, Pinter, so if I put it P-I-M, as you can see, Pinter comes up. So you can just double click that, and all is well that ends well. Nice, Shall I open it? Yeah, good. You can just open it from there. If it wants to open it. There we go, Pinter for painting. Nice. I don't think you like using it, but some of you may. It's there, but it's only in the small pack. You can get Gimpage if you really want to. So there's no big deal, is it, really? No, but of course it's not. So let's run everything. That's how that works. You can take a screenshot from here. That's okay. Check all your windows up and clean them out. Remember, E17, just take a bit of reading if you really want to get into it. If you don't mind the defaults, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. Go about and about themes. That's nice. I'll go about the theme I'm using here. Blah, 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 blah. Moon, blah, 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 blah. Made by so and so. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. As Keisha said. Okay, what is it? If you get into settings, you can change all your panel settings down here, all your themes. So this is the theme I'm using here, is Moonlight. I can't change them and show you while I'm using it with my desktop, because it doesn't like it, okay? X crashes, okay? Which it would do. Wouldn't explain it any other way. There's different motion, online and offline as well, okay? Then at the end of it, you've got system, lockout, reboot, power off, and stuff like that. Now, from the last version of Bodhi I used, this is an improvement. So he sorted saying else along the way, isn't he? Something's gone right. Very, very good. It's only got a couple of competitors in the market, okay? There's probably only about three E17 distros to use, which is Bodhi, Puppy, and there is also one that uses as a Sabion version, I think it is. They're probably the only ones worth using E17 at the moment that are pre-configured for you, okay? But yeah, but Bodhi Linux 2.2, very nice indeed. I'm giving it 94. Sneaky Linux going out. I see you later. Bye bye.